Give me fuel. What does it sound like? Morning! How are you guys doing? This is quite the morning sight to wake up to. These boys are about to leave. We've got Alexandre Moreau and the Pitagor. I'm going to put their Instagrams down below. They're about to leave to Geneva. We had one last quick photo before departing today. Virginia and I have finally decided we're going to head back to Monaco and I thought it would be a good opportunity to run you through what I think of this car and now also we're probably going to hit the break-in mileage so I'll finally be able to enjoy the car a little bit more and properly experience it. So I'm going to whack some GoPros up. We're going to have a long, well long-ish four-hour drive back to Monaco through the beautiful Italian countryside after cars and coffee the video that went out on Sunday and you guys will be able to come on us with this trip back to Monaco and it should be good fun but yeah these guys are about to drive back to Geneva in the beautiful hurricane spider my car is absolutely filthy oh, oh, oh that sounds good that is one good sounding car Hotel. Yeah, the hotel's gonna be like, what are you guys exactly, doing? Exactly. Drive safe, guys. Guys, I'll see you soon. Take I'll care, see you in Geneva. Bye, bye. Take care. What a beautiful car. I'm gonna hop in, put some GoPros up, and let's hit the road. Right, here we go. Not a cold start because we had already started it. To move it to this photo spot. Here we go then. This place, Villa Feneron. I can't say it. Anyways, this place we are at now, we are leaving. Finally, it is so warm in this car. Ah, but this adventure starts now. 250 miles to Monaco. Uh, we're going to need to, the first problem we're gonna have is in Italy, they don't often have high quality petrol and that's what we need for this car. So we're going to need to try and find a petrol station with some sort of high quality petrol. Just tackle these speed bumps. And then also somewhere to get some food because it's already 12 and we haven't eaten anything. So we need to we need to find a fast food or something quite quickly. I think we're both feeling quite down for a fast food and then hit the road. But I'm excited because the car now has 1,483 kilometers, uh, which means basically it's past the braking period, which is about 1,500. So it goes for its service this upcoming Friday. Uh, it's break-in service, which will then mean that I can enjoy the car at full revs, full throttle, and properly give it a go. Until then, I can't really go flat out, but I can go much higher in the rev range as I was before. Let's hit the road, find a petrol station, find some food, and get started. First petrol station we're coming across. Uh, what we got, what we got? WR100, that sounds good. It's really good, in fact. Yes, we've got fuel. We've got petrol, fantastic. I don't need it desperately. I've got about a quarter of a tank, but it's good news that there's some here because at least we won't run out. Fantastic, this is good. Give me fuel. Yes, the only other problem in Italy is that the fuel's super expensive. It's basically two euros a liter. So this should be good fun. Yeah, this car's gonna need a serious clean. I don't know if you can see all of the bugs. We've literally killed a species of bugs with this car over the last few days. Yeah, anyways, I should probably go pay. We're good to go. Not only did we get good fuel, we got 100 level fuel. In France, all you get is 98, so we've got some serious stuff right now. As we cruise along, actually I'm not sure if I presented Virginia in this video. You'll know her from other videos. Uh, the last two videos Virginia has been in them, she's joined for this trip. Uh, but yes, if you're just wondering who this blonde was sitting in my passenger seat, it's Virginia. And her link is in the description down below. But anywho, moving on from that, I figured this could be a good opportunity. I've seen these videos go around all over Instagram. People doing five things I like and five things I dislike about their car. And I figured, why not? We're on a road trip. There's not too much to show you apart from what we're driving through the countryside. Um, and I've now had this car long enough to come up with five things I like and dislike. So at some point I'll do five specific things I like. I mean, you guys know I do really love this car. So to narrow it down to five main things will be a, a bit tricky. But for now, five things I dislike. And it, they're not gonna be big things. They're gonna be little things that bug me with this car. And let's just kick it off straight away with the number one thing, which has been annoying me, which I didn't realize before I did this long trip which is the cruise control. So the cruise control on this car works fairly well. That's not the problem at all. Uh, the only thing is it's on the end of the indicator stalk, which means every time, so I, I indicate by pushing sort of the end and the outside of the indicator stalk. So every time I change lane, if I've got the cruise control on, I press the cancellation button by accident. 
which means we suddenly like brake quite hard because it's not holding the speed anymore. So that's really annoying and it's happened. I mean, I don't even know how many times it happens almost every time. So I need to get used to that. That's maybe just as much me getting used to it as the car, but that has frustrated me slightly. Another thing similar, which isn't big, it's just like a little thing that annoys me, is the headlights. Um, they're not on a stalk, they're on a button which is kind of what you get like in a, a Lamborghini Gallardo or things like that, it's a similar sort of system. But it's just slightly frustrating that every time you go in the tunnel I have to lean over again. As I say, these are very first world problems. They're not big things I dislike about this car. They're just little things which have bugged me on this drive, which I thought I would report back to. One thing which does bug me a fair amount with this car is the lack of power steering at low speed. It's great at high speed, but at low speed, oh my God, when you're really trying to park or maneuver through cities and stuff like that, it's just so tricky to move this thing. It's so much heavier than it was in my at least naturally with the car weighing more. Sorry if it's a bit dark right now. But with the car weighing more, it's just way, way heavier. And it does make it really tricky to get around little villages. Just now being in Italy, we were going to little little towns and things like that and it just made everything pretty uh pretty hard so that's number three number four is also to do with the power steering so as soon as i'm on a slightly sketchy road surface and it does it a lot more than other cars i've driven i mean i've been passenger in sam's 4c and he talked to me about it doing this is the steering kind of goes all over the place as soon as you're on a bad road surface specifically when you're braking if you're braking and it's sort of skipping along the road, the car will really pull left or right. And it's quite scary at times because you're sort of having to fight the car to keep it on the road, which is, which is not ideal. And that's one thing which does get pretty terrifying. <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad at all, but it's, a, it's just slightly sketchy. And that's one thing that I've noticed which bugs me a tiny bit. Fifth, I'm actually gonna combine two things into this. Virginia just said cup holders, which is a good shout. Not having cup holders does get annoying, but again, tiny little problem, don't mind it too much. And the Bluetooth, it's got this new Clarion sound system, which I haven't really gotten accustomed to yet. And, oh, nice Porsche McCann coming past us. I just haven't really been able to figure it out, and I don't even know if it has Bluetooth, but if it does, it's really, really complex and not easy to figure out at all. So that's been bugging me because as soon as I forget my cable, I can't really listen to the music or I can't take phone calls or anything like that. So yes, all of these things are pretty nitpicking. The main thing is the lack of power steering at certain speeds. Obviously when you're on it and you're driving this car hard, having no power steering gives it such a natural feel that it kind of balances out. But I'll talk about that more when I do the five things I love about my Lotus 6E Sport 380. Right now we're gonna cruise home. I just thought I would talk to you about these five things I've noticed on this drive. And yeah, we're gonna get home, give the car a little wash as soon as we get home, I think before having some dinner and relaxing a bit. We're only about 36 minutes away now. We're getting there, guys. We've made it to, guess where? McDonald's. We are dining in luxury right now. Uh, let's close this. Okay, there we go. Cars are all, oh, it's so dusty. It's so annoying to see it so dirty. But anyways, let's go inside. We're both starving and we need some food. McDonald's in Italy, no thanks, no sauce, is not the same. It's just, it's, it's pretty disappointing. They don't have our menus that we want. So these are two faces of disappointment right here. But we're going to, uh, we're you gonna go it. with no, it. No, 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 no. What did I, you want sweet and sour? Okay. Yeah. Sparkling, we are good to go. We've got a view on the car while we munch away at this massive McDonald's order. Food done, GoPro's gonna go back up. We're gonna get back in the car, let's bounce. One of the good things about this drive is that I've now managed to hit the braking period as I talked about before. So I can rev the car a tiny bit more. So if we put your window up like this much so we can still hear the car. Let's give it a go in this tunnel right here.
earlier it's going in for its break-in service on Friday and then it will be ready for some full load accelerations because that's still there only about half acceleration so I'm excited to experience it properly well having this car as we're just cruising back towards my house now that it's out of its braking period means we can enjoy it a bit I apologize Virginia if you get car sick to tell you guys that this video was not at all me complaining about the car or me saying that I don't like the car. I love the car and actually coming up with five things I didn't like about it was so hard, uh, which is why there were five very small nitpicky style things. The car is now up in the garage. Uh, we just had some dinner. The car's all cleaned up finally after the long trip. It was so dirty, but it's finally been cleaned. I did do a video of the whole cleaning process of the car, so the link to that will be down, down in the bio as well and somewhere in one of these corners. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really good fun this whole trip. We're now going to be doing more videos with other cars and I've got some exciting stuff coming up this weekend. Super, super exciting. A few surprises uh, with the Team Galag guys, so you know it's going to be good when they're involved. Thank you so much for watching. I just remembered I need to do my notification squad shout out. I haven't done this in the last few videos, but it doesn't mean I don't read all the comments and I definitely check out and try to answer to all of the notification squad ones. If you want a shout out, all you need to do is turn the little bell on next to the subscribe button and then comment notification squad on the next video. Today's notification squad shout out goes to Alexandrus Lapis Lapinskis. I've definitely said that wrong, but thank you so much for the support. I've seen a bunch of your comments before, so thank you for always showing love and being committed to watching these videos. It means the world to me. Anyways, on that jolly note, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Up bye. Hey, yo. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. No Juliet.